Welcome to day five, myth busting. This is Amelia, and today we are going to cover the myth it's too expensive to eat healthy. And I just want to say that I completely understand. When I first decided that I was going to commit to a healthier lifestyle, um, you know, I was freaked out because I was like, am I going to have to go to Whole Foods all the time or? you know, wherever, um, what, whatever's in your location, you know, am I going to have to do that all the time? Um, you walk in and you're just like, I don't know what anything is. I don't, I don't, just, I don't know. And everything is so expensive. And honestly, I couldn't even tell you what my stores had because I just didn't buy that stuff yet because I was so processed and packaged and I didn't even really know where to start. So what we're going to cover today is the myth that you can eat healthy on a budget. And I just want to tell you that that is absolutely possible. And here are the three tips for eating healthy on a budget. One, you have to budget. You have to know what you're, you're spending each month, what's going in, what's going out. Two, you have to have a list. Get a list, you make a list, and you stick with it, okay? So budget, list, and the third one is educate. Educate yourself on what you're buying and why you're buying it. So the first one is budget. So I know money is such a specific thing to talk about, and sometimes it's very scary because it's something that, I don't know, it runs the world and you know, it's it's really hard to put down on paper each month what's going in and what's going out. But you have to put down each month where things are going. You have to give your money a place, okay? I recommend the budget everydollar.com. It's from Dave Ramsey. My family loves him. Um, he's great. So um, I definitely recommend that you budget. Then you'll know each month what you have to spend. Next, a list. You make a list, you check it twice, just like Santa Claus, and then you stick to the list, okay? Don't go to the grocery store hungry. Don't go when you are going to buy a zillion things that you don't need. If it's not on the list, you don't need it. You need to list out your meals each day for the week. You need to write the ingredients you need. You need to write the things that you need to live for the week and then stick with that. Here are things that you do not need on your list unless it's a birthday party or something like that. Chips, pop, sugared cereals, ice cream, those things like that. You do not need those, okay? So when you're going to snack, you need to snack, you need to find an alternative, okay? Um, and this is where the education part comes into play. I have an app, oh, you can see it, and it is called Fooducate, okay? And this is an amazing, amazing app. It is free for you, so you can always go and you can scan something and it's going to give it a grade. And it's going to tell you why it's graded that way, and then it's going to give you an alternative. It's awesome, okay? So you have to educate yourself on what you're buying. But let me tell you. Getting a bag of carrots and a bag of apples is way cheaper than a bag of chips, okay? And so you don't need the chips. You need those other things that are going to fuel your body, okay? Um, and you can make things, you can make healthy treats that are going to feel like little indulgences. Have hummus and carrots. Watch your portions. Sliced apples with coconut oil and cinnamon warmed up. I mean, those are very, very delicious things to eat that you're not going to be going down the cookie aisle and, and spending $4 on a box of cookies that you're going to eat in two days and then feel guilty about. So you have to educate yourself on what you're buying and stick to your list. Finally, there is um, where to shop. So like I mentioned, going into Whole Foods, you, you might feel overwhelmed. You might feel like you have to go buy all of your stuff from there. And I just want to say, this is part of the education process. Know what you're buying. So there's definitely smoothie and juice type drinks at Whole Foods that are full of sugars and, and over-processed. And, and so you think that just because you're buying it at Whole Foods that it's 100% clean or 100% awesome for you. And that's not the case. 
when I can walk into Aldi and buy a uh, no sugar organic tomato pasta sauce that is that is so affordable and it's gonna last me forever. So check those lines, you know, the simply nature, the, the organics. Meyer has a great alternative. I'm sure a, a convenience store, or a grocery store closest to you has those alternatives too. And your FujiK app will allow you to scan those and see what the best options for you are. So don't get overwhelmed, okay? You can eat on a budget and you can eat really healthy too. So you have to budget, you have to um, make a list and stick with it, and you have to educate yourself.